Thank you very much, Lee Irvish. Uh, yeah, I'm, I am aware of how I look. I've got a definite uh, youth pastor vibe. I probably look like I fingered you at church camp. I can't help that, all right? I was born this way. Six foot four, 190 pounds. My poor mother, she's dead. All right. I did just get out of prison, you guys. I mean, I, I divested of prisons in my stock portfolio. I just don't think they're going to be as profitable now that the war on drugs is ending. I mean, look at how many of you are here tonight. Congrats to you all, but you're not putting money in my pockets. <laughs> all right, well, I did just get one of those DNA tests at the 23 Me, I found out something really interesting. My dad is actually a motherfucker. Yeah, his dad too. All the way up, it's like a tradition in my family. Yeah. I carried that on myself as well. Proof of my motherfucker is about yay high now, running around my house all the time. But let me tell you where I'm coming from. I'll tell you a little bit about myself. My parents are the kind of you know vicious idiot people who will tell you they know stuff, but they don't. You know? They're like, uh, oh yeah, theory of relativity, we know about that. But they think it's about incest. Uh, <laughs> they're like, yeah, theory of relativity, that's why your double cousin Bo is retarded. Everybody knows that. Come on. <laughs> Uh, they're, they're very concerned about uh, if I was going to turn out gay or not, uh, but uh, I think it's just them and the Red Cross who is also very concerned about me being gay. Are you guys aware of this? The Red Cross is a very homophobic organization. Every time I go to donate blood, they ask me like a dozen different ways if I'm gay. My favorite question, very direct, they say, have you ever had sex with a man, even once? Like, Did you ever get curious in college? You're gay forever, get the fuck out of here with your gay blood. I found out from a girlfriend, they asked the same question to women, but it's, have you ever had sex with a man who has ever, ever had sex with a man even once? And then you're gay by association, you get the fuck out of here with your gay blood. But it's not just your sex life, they scrutinize your whole life when you go there. They're like, uh, have you gotten any new tattoos or piercings in the last 12 months? No. Have you been outside the country? No. Do you take any intravenous drugs? No, I don't have any fun, okay? That's why I'm here donating blood. You know, just take it all. You've convinced me my life is not worth living. The first time I ever gave blood was in high school. I went with my best friend. And after he was done donating, he gets up out of the bed and looks at the bag of his blood there and just passes out. Hits the ground, hits his pants. Very embarrassing. But it's always stuck with me. It's so weird that people faint when they see blood. Or like in any number of scary situations. Like, hasn't evolution weeded that out by now? Like, why are we still doing this? And so then it makes me think, like, there's got to be some advantage, right? Over the course of humanity, things have turned out better for some people because they have this mechanism in them that's like, all right, we're going to turn off the lights, boss, you're going to sit this one out. Just just shh, lay down, close your eyes, just stay there. Things are going to work out, you know? Your judgment is so bad. Evolution has decided <laughs> in an emergency, <laughs> things are going to turn out better if you're unconscious. <laughs> all right, thank you very much. I've been Zach Patterson. Zach Patterson, everybody, and keep that going for the queen of the Velve Speed Mic, ladies and gentlemen, Ashley.